what is up guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to make your lives easier by turning this e-commerce website into a progressive web app we already saw the demo to this but you guys can still look at it right now so this is going to be the e-commerce site that we're going to be able to install on your android device so as you can see it has a nice layout a nice nav bar uh you can just you can definitely click on any of these categories view some products and contact whatever seller through whatsapp or call the seller so that's basically it this is the finished version the one that can be installed on your device but we're not going to be working with this this is the one that cannot be installed it's just a basic html css and javascript so this is just the website if we open up chrome dev tools you can see there is no manifest no service worker and nothing stored on the local storage and we're going to go step by step and turn this into a progressive web app so of course we're going to need several things first we are going to need a service worker a manifesto json and finally we're going to need a folder to keep all the icons these icons are going to be 512 by 512 and 192 by 92 by resolution so let's just create a manifest with json and a service worker file so service worker.js and once we're done with that it will only take so many so little steps a few steps to turn your website into a progressive web app so let's look at this um in a, in a, some systematic manner so what we're going to do is first we're going to generate the icons that we're going to use for this because a progressive web app needs icons to display on all the different platforms be it android windows as well as ios and to do this we're going to be using a third party tool known as pwa asset generator which is a github repository uh which some developer created to really help us out in making progressive web apps but first let us first check out uh, my github uh, that is where we'll find the complete code because really some of these things you don't have to reinvent the wheel for some of these things that are always constant like the manifest.json we're just going to copy that and just edit out a few things the manifest also we don't really need to write that from scratch service worker as well we'll just copy that and paste it right here okay so we're done with this no the visual studio code is still holding up some of this so i do apologize if it becomes a little bit slow hopefully it won't affect my internet connection or stuff Mm -hmm, okay let's let's link up the the service worker at the bottom of our page so we're going to need to write some script tags and emmet hasn't even loaded so i don't even get auto completion so really i'm just going to i'm just going to get rid of this exercise again hopefully okay no auto completion at all so let's go back to our browser in the meantime as some of these extensions load up so this is my github repository be sure you follow and you can start some repositories which you find useful uh, you can also fork this all my projects are open source so if you want to collaborate with me on any project here just fork it and send me a pull request i'm going to be using this comrade market first release so open that up This is taking longer than expected. Let's get, head back to our, our Visual Studio Code Editor and see if we can run that command. The command is npx pwa asset generator. But okay, okay, let's first get the icon that this tool will be working on because the tool just takes the icon, you point to it, then it generates several resolutions several dimensions for that particular logo you provided so i believe i have a logo in here mm, okay let me just find it and i'm going to use this this png item 
that has loaded up quite nicely. Let me just copy the PNG item and paste it into the root of my workspace. Don't copy it anywhere else, don't copy it within the images, just copy it alongside your source files. So I'm just going to paste it right here. Paste and I'm going to rename it. Rename this to logo. This is just personal preference. If you decide to keep the name, be sure to type the same name to the command line. Otherwise, you won't get the same output. So npx, obviously you have node installed. Any self-inspecting developer, website developer has node installed on their system. If not, just head over to node.js and download. So just run pwa asset generator logo.png and then you are going to specify a folder called icons. That is where the output will be sent. Okay, just hit enter. This will be, is going to take a while. So I might consider pausing this and waiting for the process to run before I can actually resume the screen recording. Well, in the meantime, we can get the code for the manifest dot JSON right here. Don't worry, this will be left down in the description as well. So you guys can just head over there and easily get this repository. Okay, so this is everything you need for your manifest dot JSON. Okay, let's head back. Let's head back to our blog, to our Visual Studio code. Let me pause this and then I'll just resume it once it's done. And we are done. Just created images and saved them under the icons folder. And that's also generated some JSON for you to just paste into your manifest. So this tool is very important and very useful as well. So let's just get straight to copying uh, the code from the manifest.json back at GitHub. Then we can just edit it out with whatever we got from the command line. Okay, so just copy that and paste. Paste it within the manifest that JSON. Okay. Then we should now edit this out. So let's get rid of this. Delete that. Delete. Delete. And then just head back into your terminal. And then just control C copy this sorry control c and then just paste that back in okay let's look at this let's go back to the application tab in our browser let's just first link up the manifest because it, it hasn't even been linked yet and to do this just create a, reg a regular link and then just point it towards the path towards your manifest.json and just like that just like that as you can see it points to the manifest.json so let's reload this it's obviously auto reloaded by live server so let's just get in and look at the developer tools under the application tab and we should find out if there is a manifest which has been detected by the page. So manifest, okay. So we can see all that's stopping us, we have a few errors. And all that's stopping us from turning this into a progressive web app is the service worker. But first, let's get rid of these errors 
so i can see some of these images are not being loaded so this is an error in the manifest.json page so let's get straight to it also what you want to do is um under the shortcuts delete delete the five this is not the right path so just copy what you had from the first instance and then just paste it right here to specify the path to the icons in the shortcuts part as well and as you can see those errors disappear our only problem is the missing service worker and what a service worker is is just some um, javascript code that runs in the background to perform caching um pop-up notifications uh, offline so many things so many things uh, so many things can be done using a service worker but first we have to register it so first we need a script that registers the service worker once the page has loaded and a logic to also prompt the user to install our service worker so we are just gonna copy that and paste that in at the start of our body okay we also need some code at the end of the body this code just is just an asynchronous function which checks if the the browser supports the registration of service workers and if so registers a service worker it's not rocket science it's just that simple and so head over to the end of the bottom the end of the bottom what did what did i just say no before you close your body tag and just paste that javascript in there and perfect just link now the the, the service worker.js and you are good to go okay but one problem is we are registering a service worker but it is okay you see the service worker is registered but it doesn't have any code in it so this doesn't really qualify as a progressive web app yet but we're going to fix that so just head let's just navigate back to the master branch and then just copy the code from the service worker and just paste that in and that's it that's literally all you need to turn your website into a service worker you're just creating some constants some static assets that will be cached once it loads you're also creating an event listener to listen to the install function so that users can be able to install your progressive web app so it's going to take a little while to do the caching and register a service worker so it might not work the first time you load this page but just keep reloading uh, if symptoms persist just head over to your chrome dev tools and check out what could be wrong so it seems like we are making we are making more than one request yeah duplicate request so it means this instance is already running on localhost so let's just stop the first one the second instance should be working perfectly and there we get a prompt to install our application so let, let's just get rid of the first one and as you can see our application is now installable so if we head over to our dev tools you will find out that everything is working the service worker as well as the manifest okay all the icons are looking good so that's it we just achieved it this application is now installable on windows ios and android but now i want to show you um one problem that arises if you haven't hosted your site on some kind of uh live live cloud server you can use netlify guitar pages whatever heroku just make sure you have this live not actually on your local device because i'm going to open up both progressive web apps 
the initial version and the version we just did right now. You won't notice any, any changes. It will be exactly the same. It will be just as fast. It will be just as efficient as the first progressive web app. And basically the UI has no difference. But once I close this, it stops because it was being served up from our local server. So we won't be able to access this no matter what we do. And if we open up this in Chrome, you can see it's being served from our local host. And that's why this will not work. So definitely you need to upload this to a live server before you can start sharing this app to your friends. Because if I was to launch this progressive web app, I would only be able to access it from my device. And if I was to turn this into a, a .apk kind of file, uh, these assets, I wouldn't have access to them because they're only on my device. So in order to get this up and running again, I would have to navigate back here, open it up in my, in my text editor, and then open up live server, which you can see is definitely not ideal. Unlike our original application, which is hosted on Netlify. Of course, you can find that video down in the description, how to host a static site in Netlify. Uh, of course, this, this will load up every single page, no matter where you are. Whoever has this app will view the exact same view I view from my own PC because all these assets are on a server. And that's basically it. That's how you can turn your e-commerce website into a progressive web app. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Share to your friends and your family. And head over to GitHub. Collaborate with me on some of these projects. Fork it if you need. It's open source. So you can, if you have a feature that you would like to add, I would really appreciate just add it and hit me up with a pull request.